Welcome back, everybody. 741, and it is time to inspire your travel bug once again. And today we're going to head somewhere that you've probably never heard of before. Travel expert and best-selling author of the 30-Day Travel Challenge, Kylie Yu, back with us today and taking us to the Caribbean. Hi, Kylie. Good morning. Hey, how are you? Today we're going to St. Eustatius. It's a tiny Dutch Caribbean island you've never heard of, and that's entirely part of its charm. It's known as Stacia to its 3,500 residents, and it's if you're looking for peace and serenity, this is totally it. It's located next to St. Kitts, it's black sand beaches on a volcanic island, and it's also the first country to recognize are independent, so we should all know this island. Yeah, 1776. That was one of the fun facts I learned uh, looking up this little tiny island. They were the first nation to recognize the United States way back then. All right, let's start with where to stay once you get there, and you got a good uh, resort for us. Yeah, if you're headed down there, you're going to want to stay at the Golden Rock Dive and Nature Resort. It's the first luxury resort on the island, and they're totally committed to sustainability. So they have the reverse osmosis machines turning seawater into drinking water and all the water you're using on property. And it has a huge solar farm that powers the entire resort. All the rooms have ocean views, and they're also building the largest lagoon in the Caribbean to be open soon. Wow, that looks so cool. All right, now we've seen a couple of photos in the uh, first video here of scuba diving. It looks like a great place to do it. Yes, definitely. If you're going there, you're definitely going to snorkel or scuba dive. And it's one of the most pristine diving sites in the world. So you're going to want to go out with a company called Scuba Aqua because they know the island so well. And you'll explore the marine protected park, coral reefs, shipwrecks, and old labyrinths of lava under the water. It's just amazing, and we're seeing the video uh, right now of these really cool labyrinths. It's a great way to explain it, of the lava that is uh, cooled after, of course, coming out. It's really great. All right, what about a, uh, you mentioned lava. There's a dormant volcano you should check out as well. Yes, right behind the resort, there's the quill, as they call it, and it's a dormant volcano. You can hike right into the crater, perfectly safe, and there are difficult hikes up the face or more casual leisurely hikes around the ocean side and it's a rainforest so you'll see lots of rare birds if you're into bird watching and there's gangs of goats roaming the island so you'll see them too there's more goats than people on the island so it's uh, really cute i love it kylie you've been one of my favorite guests thanks so much for joining us and i love to travel and uh, it's great to see this new little island i'm gonna have to add to my bucket list Yes, great to see you again.